First of all, I'm going to start off with an overview of just what's going on with chemistry at the moment. So chemistry 1-2 has a new study design. And for those of you who don't understand what the study design is, it's what teaches you what to learn. So it's what the teachers use to base their learning off. It's what the exams, particularly for year 12 exams, but your exams will also be based off it, are based off these study designs. And essentially what a study design has is these dot points. Um, and so I should actually grab it up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab it up. Apologies, I have to go on my downloads. Um, da, 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 where is it? Chemistry study design doc. So this is what it looks like. And I think it's really important you know what it looks like. Um, so once this opens up, we'll go sort of just quickly click onto it. Um, the chemistry study design has dot points. And what these dot points are, are essentially what you need to be learning. And so it's always good to use it as a reference point to say, have I learned everything this year? So as you can see, this is it here. It's a really big document. There's lots of information that's completely irrelevant to you because a lot of it is for teachers and, and how they want to assess you. Um, also, my Mac is really struggling to have a thousand things open. So, so what you would go is you scroll down and see how you can click. It's one of those documents. It's really cool. And what you do is go, all right, unit one, area study one. So we're going to go unit one, area study one. I click on that. It says, it gives a little spiel about what they want you to learn, what the outcomes are, but this is what matters to you. Key knowledge. These dot points are what you need to know. So you need to know all of these examples by the end of this. So you need to know, not even, they're not even examples. You just need to know all of these dot points by the end of this area of study. Then you have area study two and these other things. And then area study three is an assignment. And then you go on to unit, uh, that's still the assignment, da, da, da. And then you go on to unit two. And then there's area study one for unit two. So that's essentially what the study design is. You can find this on the VCAR website, go VCAR chemistry study design. It's really important that you don't open the 2017 to 2022, you open the 2023 to 2027 document. <laughs> Um, and then next point, as you'll see here, um, it says unit three and four, 2024 to 2027. That means that next year when you do unit three and four, you'll actually be the first year level to do that. Um, so um, really important to understand that you're gonna be the first year level doing this unit one, two, you're gonna be the first year level doing that unit three, four. That isn't a distinct, usually that's a distinct advantage because um, as much as we don't really know what's going on, everything tends to be a little bit easier. The exams tend to be a little bit easier at year 12 level on the first one because they don't really know how much um, people are sort of switching on to what's going on. So they sort of make them a little bit easier. So you're in a good spot here. Um, but essentially you need to use this document. You need to use this as sort of your tick box and say, all right, have I learned this? Have I learned that? Et cetera, et cetera. So as you said, as I said, what does this mean for you? Um, it also means that doing old practice sacks, old practice exams, using old notes, maybe you've got a summary book from an older brother or sister or a friend in the year level above, a lot of it will be use, will be useless, to be 100% honest. Chemistry 1-2 has drastically changed. Yes, there are a lot of things that are the same, but there are also a lot of things that are new, a lot of things that are being removed, and a lot of things are just being moved. You'll find that a lot of the stuff actually in Unit 1, Area Study 1 has actually been pulled from Unit 2, Area Study 2. The final area of study that you were doing has actually now had content from that moved to the first one that you're doing. So. It's really important to understand that when you are doing old revision, using old things for revision, um, there has been drastic changes. So please make sure you always are asking your teacher, is this relevant, is it not? And then go from there. Pardon me. Um, these are what have been added to unit one. Essentially, I'm not gonna go through um, every single point here, but these are the things that have been added. They're brand new. You probably won't find many pieces of information on it. Things like polymer plastic. So you see area study two, um, the third dot point there. That has been in the past, but it's drastically different now. Um, things like relative atomic mass um, was already part of this area of study without being explicitly named in the study design. So it's been added in words. So it wasn't in words and now it is in words. <laughs> Then you've got fossil fuel plastics, um, critical elements, circular economy and metal recycling. Then you can see here, solubility and precipitations. That was taken from area study two, unit two, but only partially. So it's partially new, partially taken. Ionic equation, same thing. 
taken from area study two of unit one. So things are being moved around as well. Um, so really important that you sort of um, notice what's going on. Um, things that are being removed. Um, so this is a really good list that if you see questions on this stuff and you get really, really confused, um, this is why. So nanoparticles and nanomaterials. If it's something nano, it's no longer in the course. Um, these electron configurations, VCAR loved these for some reason, but they were terrible and not useful. And so they finally got rid of them. Lots of questions on them. They're not relevant. Um, alloy metals and then origins of crude oil. That stuff's all gone. Origins of crude oil was a massive part of unit three, four. And as of next year, it's gone. Um, so that's why they've removed it from unit, uh, unit one. So these slides here, they're worth just having a screenshot of them. Um, don't worry about getting one now, you can grab one. Um, you can grab one from the slides when they come up or the recording. Um, but essentially it's good to just have them there as a list and say, all right, actually, I'm not sure about this question. I don't think I've learned this before. Is this part of the area of study? Go to the study design, I'm still not sure. So then you go to this list here and you'll see that it'll sort of tell, this list sort of tells you what is and what isn't part of that area of study. 